Hello, hello. It's Wednesday. Yes, I had to think about it. Um, so what's up, guys? I missed y'all last night. Um, you might have seen in my stories. My story wasn't all that exciting because it was just a picture of a BB gun on the table. However, we went to the gun range as a family with, well, as a family, my mom, my brother, my sis, my stepsister, my sister, my stepdad, all of us went to the gun range <clears throat> and took an intro to handguns class, which was interesting. Um, I currently have my CPL, but uh, I'm always down to learn more because I grew up around rifles and hunting, <laughs> not handguns. So anyway, um, yeah, we had a good time. And I think we're going, <laughs> we apparently started something because we're going back again tomorrow night. Um, different range. This time we're shopping. <laughs> so fun times. That's where I was last night. That's why there's no live. Um, there's some pictures that my mom posted, but yeah, would have been nice to have video. I was busy, busy shooting things. In fact, my desk is a little chaotic, but somewhere around here, I got my 45 rounds. That was fun. Anyway, I want to talk tonight about Wow, I want to give you my best piece of advice. My best piece of advice for thriving, not just surviving. And so this is kind of kind of an involved piece of advice in the sense that I want to tell you a little bit about why I am qualified to give you this advice. <laughs> um, I know that everybody has their hard times in life, right? Like everybody's been through their own shit. Everybody's been through it. It's, it's different for everybody. Um, but there's hard stuff in your life that stands out. And I know that even now it doesn't feel like all the time. It does definitely does not always feel like we're thriving. Woo. Example. Yeah. Okay. So we are, we live in a basement. Um, <laughs> this is our situation. We live in a basement. Um, my, yeah, <laughs> it flooded snow melt. We're looking for a house like we're on that but we can't find a house that fits our needs currently and our basement flooded so no <laughs> no it does not feel like we're thriving okay anybody ever lived in a basement i mean it's finished it's decent okay it's not like that it's not like we're living in a michigan basement um we are but if you live in michigan and you know what a michigan basement is we're not um but we also have four dogs Four dogs, flooded basement, not fun times. See, oh, and then I've had Jeep trouble this week. Like, hmm, um, yeah, just like everything, you know, because when it rains, it pours. Um, and in the past, I would freak the freak out, like anger freak out. Um, and that never helps, right? Other people just run away. They're scared. <laughs> She's freaking out. I'm gone. Anyway, um, but that being the case, I've learned a lot going through as much crap as I've been through. And I've learned how to cope a little bit better. And so what I've realized is that even when it doesn't look like or feel like we are thriving, uh, it's still a choice. It's still a choice to live like you're thriving and what does thriving look like um i mean thriving would be great if thriving in a mansion would be fantastic thriving in a mansion it doesn't even i don't even need a mansion i just need like a tiny house but if the barn was really big yes mm -hmm. yeah lots of pony space and dog space and all those things that sounds like thriving that sounds like thriving it sounds like you know having this super successful business that supplies all my needs and I travel all the time. That sounds like thriving, but the truth is, is, and I know, I know you guys know this. If you think about it though, like in our minds, that's what we think of. We think of the success, that success story is thriving. But the reality is people are miserable to have those things. So it's not the things that make the thriving. It's what's going on inside of you. So my number one, my biggest, my biggest tip, my best advice, whatever you want to say, would be to start a gratitude practice. Um, and no, it doesn't have to be involved and long. Um, 
but that one shift of starting your day, which by the way, my gratitude practice is not starting my day with listing three to 10 things that I am glad I have or people that are glad I'm glad are in my life. Yes, that usually comes up, but that's not the end of my gratitude practice. Um, because I've learned that there's more to it than that to really reap the benefits of this practice. And if you're going to be doing it, you might as well be getting something out of it. Right. Um, so for me, uh, it's about getting that. It's about getting that. I, I don't know. We're paused apparently. So sorry. Um, it's about getting that emotion behind the things that you're grateful for because emotion is power. Okay. So when you start a gratitude practice and you list the things that you're grateful for, but in addition, you think about why you're grateful for them, how those things make you feel. If you're doing it right, you're actually going to feel something about it, right? So example, I'm super grateful that I have a cup full of pens conveniently located next to my desk. Yeah, no, um, not enough. That's not, there's not a feeling there. Like I do like pens. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I love me some pens. Uh, but no, not enough. And, and because why, why, why do you love those pens? I love the way they feel on the paper. Yeah. I'm a little nerdy. We'll get over it. Um, but when I say I'm grateful to have, I am grateful to have a house over a roof over my head, right? Like I'm grateful to have a house too. I do future. Okay. Sidetrack focusing for you guys. Sorry. Um, I'm grateful to have a house, even if it's flooded. Why? How does it make me feel? It makes me feel like at least I am safe at night. At least my family can be together in one place. At least my family can be together in one place. That could, that could make me cry. Like just being grateful for that. That's the emotion we're after. We're after that kind of emotional connection to what we're grateful for. Why? Why is it important? Because your thoughts, your thoughts of thankfulness, they trigger emotions, right? Emotions are not necessarily a choice. They're a natural response, an instinct response. We choose how we work with them, right? So your thoughts of thankfulness trigger these emotions of appreciation. And then you can take that appreciation, that emotion, whatever emotion it is that's triggered by your thought is going to fuel the actions that you take. So if you're starting every day grateful for things, but not just grateful, but really feeling the appreciation for them, that, that is going to fuel everything you do all day long. What better way to live? Why not? Like, why not feel appreciative all the time, loving towards other people all the time because you're appreciating them for who they are and not, not just what they do, but who they are at their core and not just, you know, not just those simple things of, oh, I'm grateful to have a car. I am very grateful to have a car. Why am I grateful to have a car? How does it, having a car make me feel? It makes me feel um, free. It makes me feel like I can go do whatever I need to do. And, and there's a level of safety in that, right? Like if you need to go to the store to get supplies, you can, if you need to go to the doctor, you can, if you need to go to work to make money, you can, you have, you're capable. It makes you feel capable. It makes you feel empowered. It makes you feel like you can go. All of those things will then fuel your day. That's thriving. That's thriving because you control it. You control every aspect of that it all starts here and then it goes here and then that feels it just goes throughout your day it's 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 fabulous that's thriving to me that's thriving it's controlling my emotional environment and it's not even it's it's just choosing it's just choosing to be grateful and appreciative every day for the smallest of things so that's my best advice um thanks don thanks for joining me and i'm glad you like it so anyways that's it i'm out Happy Wednesday. I will be back tomorrow. I think maybe, maybe tomorrow there'll be more gun range footage. That'll be fun. So anyways, that's all. You guys have a fabulous Wednesday night and I'll catch you later.